Hmm. Oh. I feel like doing a video about <coughs> about just just getting through each day. When you know when things are difficult, things are quiet. When your future is uncertain. You know. How do you how do you get through each day? And to be honest with you, I think a lot of this sort of reminds me of um, you know what it's like maybe when you're two years of age. You're seriously limited in terms of your ability to move to move around. And you're extremely fearful of the world around. It's like as if there's um you know, you've got a, a tiredness and a heaviness in your in your body. It's kind of where I relate to it, about being two years of age, you know. I kinda of get a picture of being in in hospital. And I remember I was in hospital when I was two having some eye operations and this huge sense of overwhelm. <sighs> Where the environment I suppose it's a time in your life when when you require your parents to interpret an awful lot of what's happening, to provide cues, to provide mirroring, to provide stimulation, uh, yeah, to you're kind of still very fused. I think, well, ideally you're very you're still very fused with your parents. Um, I think the problems arise. If you're not fused, if you, ha if you haven't had a lot of bonding, you know, if you haven't managed to successfully kind of fuse, if I think what's the word for attachment? You know, if you if you haven't successfully attached, um, well then I think it's it it becomes impossible to self-identify. Um, so I think it's easy to kind of slip into the adult world uh, where you're running around and you're still basically, you know, looking for, you know, you're, you're, you're filled with anxiety, you're filled with fear, you're filled with um, apprehension. So in a way you're still... You know, you've still got the the antenna, you know, the skinlessness of a kind of a one-year-old. Um, an early two-year-old. But you're doing all the... So you've got an adult body, but you're, you've got the emotional development and in many ways the kind of neurological development of, of a, of a one-year-old child. And I know it sounds sort of, you know, dramatic and that, but I I think a lot of these kind of, you know, people that are drinking, people that are drugging, you know, really what you're dealing with is, is childishness, infantilism, um, infant, infantile levels of need, you know. So there's no, there's no, like it doesn't take a lot, you know, you could take a, you know, a 40 year old person and I mean, if, if you throw enough stresses on top of them, they'll kind of regress back to the level of which they kind of need to hit the bed, get under the duvet, you know, like all you have to do is get a, get a, get a pretty hefty cold and you'll knock somebody to the ground, that'll knock somebody to the ground, um, you know, and stick them under a duvet for a couple of a couple of days perhaps so uh, a good stomach complaint with diarrhea or something like that could do the same you know you can weaken somebody a death of a fa of you know a loved one or a close family member or a relationship termination can you know loss of a dog can stretch somebody onto the flat of their back um, for a couple of days as they kind of try to integrate um, 
you know, this new information, these changes that are happening in their lives. Uh, so I think in my situation, I, I think I, I was, you know, I probably was a weak enough child, you know, um, I bet I, I certainly had glasses at an early age. <sighs> so, I don't know if weak is the right word, but this maybe dismembered a little bit or dis disconnected, discoordinated, uncoordinated, uh, out of body, you know, some of the other words you can use, kind of like disconnected from my body, I don't know, filled with shock, you know, filled with, you know, I think I was kind of stru struggling to kind of take on board the world, you know, maybe a very sensitive child, um, but, you know, then when you take into account I had the death of my dad, six years of age, yeah. I, uh, four years of an extremely traumatized mother, you know, who also had a year of back pain and an operation on that, so there was some, there was a lot of shit happening in our house, a lot of tension in the air, a lot of fear um, that we were all trying to work, walk through. And I think, you know, that's the stuff that, that goes to make up addiction later on in your life, you know, I mean, I can see it in my own son, you know, there's only so much stress and tension that anybody can take um, before you before you start to shut down, you know, you just it just all becomes a bit too hard and you, you just, you know, you start to disconnect a bit from the world out there and kind of just um, go into go into coping mode um, you know somebody said the lights are on but there's nobody home kind of thing and I think you know, if, you, if, any, if you, anybody's got enough drama going on in their lives, you know, it's like a world war, a, a war, a war veteran coming, you know, coming back into normal civilization. They're still play playing unresolved traumas from from um, from their war experiences. You know, a lot of them have seen harrowing experiences, and I think. You don't have to go to war to have hardly, ha too many, you know, overwhelming experiences to be uh, that you're unable to, to cope with them. Um, you know, so yeah, so I find myself sitting here at Christmas. You know, okay, we don't have a Christmas tree up for the first year, and in sort of a way, I think maybe we're we're kind of just deciding to kind of just let's just walk this through. Um, rather than feeling that we have to slam dunk some points on the board and you know keep up appearances I think myself and Cathy and to an extent are just really walking this through as it is um, in a sort of a safe way um, which means feeling it, you know, and rather than going into overdrive and, you know, big smiles and covering over, you know, broken hearts, you know, maybe we're just walking it through like, like the one-year-olds or the two-year-olds that we are in a constructive way rather than a destructive way. Um, yeah, let's pause for a second. Yeah. <gasps> I think, in a way, you know, maybe myself and Kathy are, are getting the courage to kind of, um, allow some of those plates to hit the ground rather than kind of, you know, constantly trying to keep the plates in the air, you know, like the juggling clown. It certainly takes, sometimes it takes a bit of courage just to let them fall.
you know, just let the balls, the ban you know, the juggling balls just fall on the ground and see where everything is, you know, if we're minus us holding the world up or feeling like we have to be in overdrive the whole time to try and keep the show on the road and that, so there's something encouragingly real about um, not sticking up a Christmas tree at Christmas, I don't know why, it's just like, you know, just because everybody else takes a Christmas tree up and puts on the lights, you know, we, we haven't done that this year. Cathy's been focusing on her assignments and I don't know, I just haven't got around to it really. And we still managed to kind of, you know, have a nice Christmas dinner together and have some time together. And, uh, but we're not necessarily kind of ticking, ticking boxes um, to quite the same extent as might be nice to, you know. I haven't sent as many presents as I would have, might have liked to. But, you know, that's kind of putting it mildly. I think I managed to send one present to my mum and my stepfather, you know. But, I don't know, I'm tired of performing, you know. I'm tired, I just, I actually don't have the energy to perform. You know, I, it's like my body is sort of saying, sorry, we're not performing. We're not doing performance, you know. We're, we're just doing... We're doing, we're doing our feelings, you know, and come in kind of tending to myself, you know, tending to Roman, tending to Cathy, and that's basically it. You know, it seemed, I feel really quite cynical about that, um, in a way, but I feel like as if Cathy and Roman and me are requiring all of, I'm, it's taking all of my energy to, to kind of keep us all in a sort of uh, healthy, healthy state, healthy relational state. Um, yeah, I'm sitting on a nice tree trunk here that's got kind of helping me to stay grounded. Mm, in the forest, well, we're kind of in a park. But you know, it's just beautiful, it's kind of beautiful here, and I think the stillness of nature, you know, the Bible says be still and know that I'm God, you know, it doesn't say run around in the sails, you know, and get the best bargains and then you'll know I'm God, it's, you know, I'm not saying it's not, that it's not okay to, to get some good bargains of the sails, but I think there's a time when you need to, when you need to, when you need to be Mary and there's a time when you need to be Martha, you know, there's a time for sitting at the feet of Jesus and then there's a time for, you know, maybe facilitating for other people to sit at the feet of Jesus and, you know, I have to sit at the feet of Jesus at the moment. I think that's just the season that I'm in at the moment. Um, and it feels okay, you know. I've got some wonderful words from a friend of mine there down in Hamilton's some guy we we visited and he just said um jesus supplies all my needs um jesus is all i need and then jesus is the way and i just you know i really found that useful you know because one morning i woke up and i was like oh you know how am i going to provide for myself and then i went well jesus supplies all my needs and then i was like oh i feel like i need to call some people and then i remember jesus is all that i need and then I was thinking, well, come on, you know, what about the bigger plan, the bigger picture for my life? And I was like, well, Jesus is the way. So, you know, what would God have me do today? You know, God, what do you want me to do today? You know, and I felt like the answer that I got was just, you know, simple, keep it simple, you know. Get a, either go out and get some work or, you know, look after Roman and Kathy just, you know, small steps, you know, it's like not, we don't have to break down the the bridge, you know, we don't have to break down the walls of Jericho today, you know, we can just, you know, have a shower, you know, um, you know, have a cup of tea, you know, just like, um, you know, do some washing, you know, um,
you know, just, just have a have a bite to eat, you know, just have a bit of communion or something, holy communion, just grab a bit of bread and a bit of milk or something and just sit out and have some time with the Lord, you know. Interesting, interesting, just the, the seasons for big steps and the seasons for small steps. And I think it's really important to listen to yourself, you know, if you're, if you're getting wound up, if you're getting stressed out, if you're getting, you know, out of, bent out of shape very easily, you know, you've got to slow down, just come back to basics, come back to God, you know, God is all I need, Jesus is all I need, Jesus supplies all my needs, Jesus is the way, you know, so, and actually it's funny because normally I think I'd reach out and call a helpline if I'm struggling and I've noticed myself reaching out for Jesus more than the helpline these days and it's like, whoa, you know, Jesus, I've got to get a note. I want to get a note. I want to get to know Jesus. You know, invite Jesus into my pain, into my struggles. You know, if Jesus says He's all I need, well, then let's apply Jesus to the to the problem here. You know, let's apply. Let's get the Let's get Jesus into my situation. So. Jesus is all I need, Jesus applies all my needs, Jesus is all I need, so let's call on Jesus rather than call on anybody else to solve how I'm feeling, to help me to deal with how I'm feeling, to, to comfort me, um, to comfort me in my, in my fear, in my in my anguish, in my anxiety, in my overwhelm, you know, to reassure me, call upon the name of the Lord to, to reassure me in this, in this sort of moment, you know, just to, yeah, just sit at the feet of Jesus, you know, and how else can you get to the feet of Jesus except just sit down on a log like this and just 